Let's find the derivative of x times tangent of x. This is going to be the easiest example because it only uses the product rule. And remember, we use the product rule anytime our function can be written as the product of two functions. In other words, anytime you see a product of functions, you use the product rule. So, in order to use the product rule, we have to identify our two functions. And it looks like one of our functions here is x, and the other function here is tangent of x. Now remember, the product rule is, if we have to take the derivative of a product of functions, it's the first function times the derivative of the second function, plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. So, now that we have our two functions identified, if we find their derivatives, we can just plug them into that format and get our answer. The derivative of x, since the derivative of a constant times x is going to be equal to the constant, is going to be 1. That is because I can rewrite x as 1 times x. So the derivative of 1x is 1. And the derivative of tangent of x is going to be equal to secant squared of x. And that is a trig derivative that you generally memorize. And so now we can find the derivative of our function. In other words, the derivative of x times tangent of x is going to be equal to the first function, which is x, times the derivative of the second function, which is secant squared of x, plus the second function, which is tangent of x, times the derivative of the first function, which is 1. And luckily for us, we don't have to do any more simplification after finding this derivative. Our final derivative is going to be x times secant squared of x plus tangent of x.